Hello everyone and welcome back to some more cards action. Now, a couple things to start off. Number one is is brought it has been brought to my attention by several community members that at the rate I am going now, there is no way in hell that I'm getting to the top one hundred. And to that I gotta agree. Does that mean we're gonna stop trying? No. But it does mean if I want to take an actual serious stab at it, I'm going to have to play quite a bit more. Um, seeing as we're pretty much halfway through this month, it just doesn't make sense to ramp up. And I'm also pretty lazy, so I'm going to procrastinate as much as possible. Next month, I've got some big life events, mainly wedding. And so I can't imagine I'm going to be focused. September, we have our honeymoon planned. So what I'm trying to say is maybe October we'll have our serious attempt at uh, top 100. But with that being said, we're going to continue playing some serious cards games. And what's more serious than playing Alpini Panini? Delivering bread, sandwich meat to those in need. But this time with a twist. Instead of sub sauce or mayonnaise, it's going to be dedication, and hopefully good plays. With that, we'll see you in game one. Take care. Welcome back. Round one, delivering fee, uh, food to those in need. It's Alpini Panini. Um, we are going to drop these three and see if we can get some of our early, uh, we did not, Alpine units. That's fine. We're going to Bust out the Zukov here and see what we get. All right, so one thing that I think Cards needs to do is put some sort of reminder text or some sort of um, denotation that this has been drawn with Zukov. So we know it's got a plus one, plus one, and blitz. Oh, that being said, we're going to pass the turn here. There is nothing we can do. Turn after, I think I'm going to play the um, Petzlikov because it is US. I'm expecting them to have lots and lots of deployment effects. And the Red Devils alone is going to be able to, uh, to do very much against our little bomber here, even though we don't return the damage. That's fine. And we are just going to actually do this <clears throat> so we want to keep this as alive as long as possible we are playing against the uh, lovely US so we've got to worry about stars and stripes no nothing from our opponent um, Attack here and see what we get. Okay. I guess. I wonder which one we rather would have lost the uh, the rifle regiment or the Petlakov. Something tells me. Okay, we would have lost both. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this guy. Bring him to the front. Pass the turn here. We have a six six in the front line. <clears throat> And hopefully we'll be able to do something about uh hopefully we won't have anything to do. Jesus, I can't speak. Hopefully our opponent has no way of answering this. And yes, I am wearing my Snuggie. I want it to feel comfortable during this video. That hurts my soul. Um So we can just do don't really like that sure let's just do that next turn we can eastern and pump them both up <clears throat> maybe play a uh, sixth alpini regiment
Our opponent does have a grip full of cards. Let's play nothing but removal and a red devil, so. This might be spicy. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that. Oh, can we do it all? Uh, one, two, three. This, nice. This, this, kill. Bring this up to the front. All right. Pretty good hand. Uh, start, uh, turn for us. Jesus. Um, what are we looking at? Stars and Stripes kills one of our... Our duders here. I think we're okay with that. Hmm. So there's potential that he has carpet bombing. But I think we just pass the turn here. Next turn we can take out the guard and the priest, assuming none of our units blow up here. Unfortunate. Yep. Huh. All these guys get blown up by the priest, which is super annoying. Just pass the turn here. <clears throat> We're not facing a little bit more of a controlling deck, so I'm assuming, you know, this late in the game, his, his uh, cards are going to be a lot more scarier than ours. Oh, please. Okay. Thank the Lord. So if I attack with these two, that's eight damage. Sure. He hasn't played carpet bombing yet, so hopefully he doesn't have it. If he does, we'll pretty much lose our entire board, and I'm pretty sure we don't have a way of coming back. <clears throat> well, that sucks. We want to keep the yak here, but we'll hold off on the 52k. Or will we? Yeah, let's actually pass the turn here. Do 
three cards in our opponent's hand. Hopefully it's no card draw. We might attack our HQ with the Hellcat. <clears throat> I'm hoping the... Uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing. That's scary. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Take this out. Move this out. Play the yak. Hopefully it survives. Because <clears throat> we do need some card draw at this point. That seems like it was a pretty good turn for us. Only problem is we are fresh out of cards. That's spicy. That is very spicy. Um, Take this one out. I like a Picasso. Turn this into um Yeah, let's do this first. Get this going as well. Uh, both of these get eaten up by it anyways, that's fine. Kill this. And let's smack him for one here. Pass the turn. No. Uh oh. Surprised he didn't return that to my hand. Okay, that's why. Wondering if. Uh, Wanted to kill the yak instead, actually. No attacks, okay. That's fine. It's really tough. I think I still want to keep the hammer for something scary. None of these worry me too much. Assuming he'll, if he trades the uh, 44, 442nd, we don't have to worry about it always coming back to us. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Sopens up all our units. But our Yak was giving us card advantage, which is a little rough, I have to admit. Yep. Ambush, yes. That's annoying. Man, that's so rough. I mean, this is the front line.
This doesn't do anything because of the Jasco. I don't want to have this get eaten by the air corpus. I think we just pass the turn. <clears throat> my opponent is breaking my heart. Um... Does this work how I think it works? Let's see. Okay, so the the trigger still does the damage. That's nice to know. Yep. Smart move, smart move. Let's do this correctly here. Actually, maybe we just take out the... Uh, hmm. Pass a turn here. I really want him to find a way of uh, killing this on his turn. Hopefully he doesn't draw anything too nuts. Perfect. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Pass the turn here. This was really just to protect our uh, backline units here. That's the turn. Our opponent has two cards in hand. I have no idea what they could be. Three now. That's a scary one. Let's see if we get lucky here. Pass the turn. Jasko's doing a lot of work in keeping our opponent a healthy life. Okay. I wonder if he had more of those. And that can be scary. Can't play anymore. Yep. Not sure if that was the best idea. Pass the turn here. There's an argument to play in the eastern front bound just so we draw an alpine unit, but. Yep. This is a little scary. Do not care about a 2-2. Two, two. But a four cards, I think we just have to play it. Yeah. 
We can at least pump it up next turn, but we're running out of gas here. Deployment, yep. Oh, surprised me. You didn't go for the uh, 60th. Oh. Um. Three cards in our deck. <laughs> Something tells me we're not going to get there. Um, stranger things have happened. Oh, Lord. That's a spicy one. Oh, man, what could we possibly get with this? Let's see. Something good, please. That's really good. That is very good. Lord of mercy if we get there. Let's get rid of this. That's the turn here. Nothing to shake a stick at, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, four, eight, nine, ten. Good golly. This is as close as it gets. Yep, yep. Kill you. Kill you. Oh, we're still going to lose. No. So close yet so far. Oof. Well played, sir. Well played. We gave it our all there. We literally... <laughs> Uh, we're down to our last card, or no cards, I should say. All right, well, a big L there, but uh, hopefully the next one will go a little bit better for us. Stay tuned for round number two. Welcome back. I never realized how long that game was, so apologies for those who are on a quick one. Hopefully this one will be a little bit easier. Uh, this is a pretty good hand. I think I'll just keep all this. One, two, three, four... We've got our turns pretty much mapped out for us, which is nice. <clears throat> Assuming our opponent isn't playing shenanigans. Which looks like it's very possible they are. Yep. 
We've got a 2 4. Pass the turn here. I'm going to take this opportunity to kill that big boy tank, that's for sure. Next turn we can 6th Alpine Regiment. Alright, we are going to bloody sickle that. We don't want him drawing cards if we can help it. Alright, step one, take you out. Step two, yeah. I was going to get out, out of hand for our opponent pretty quickly there. All right, we got a W. Look at that. All right, uh, and it was a quick one. See you for round number three. Welcome back here. Round number three against Frederick. Good old Frederick. Let's see uh, how we fare here. Yeah, throw everything back. Oh, I kind of like the yak early. We'll dump it all here. <clears throat> Gonna play the uh, Dirt Alpini turn one because we are on the play. And uh, if we draw our Alpine unit that makes us draw, allows us to draw. I wonder if I played that. Uh, let's hope he doesn't have a way of killing our yak. So I do want to get some card advantage out of this unit. Opponent is very friendly. Look at that. He's playing tokens, looks like. So I have to keep that in mind. Oh, wow. We're going to whack him for two. Play little guys that turn into big boys. That's a new sound effect. I haven't heard of that one. I'm assuming our yak is not long for this world. Okay. That's interesting. So we can... I think we actually do this. Do this. Bring this up to the front line. I think we actually get rid of another one of these just because we don't have one of them to get value out of any pumps that he might have here. I think uh, much better than dealing two damage to the HQ here. We This this fight, this match is all about board control here because the moment we lose it, um, we run into problems. It's a nice one. Continue to keep the board clean and draw from our yak. Interesting. So he's playing. He's playing tokens with Japan as the. I guess Japan has some really nice buff cards as well. So I can understand that. Um, we are going to do that. We are then going to do this and this. Pass the turn. If he wants to draw some cards, he's going to be taking a bit of damage here. Assuming this survives.
And I think we just passed the turn here. The reason why I took the chance to get rid of one of the T70s is that I want him to have a buff. These guys get pretty strong. We are definitely going to find a way of making him draw in. Ooh, or maybe not. We'll keep this in the back here. It's putting a 10 turn clock on our opponent. Um, we've got some ways of speeding up with the uh, Katyusha. We can drop the Petlakov as well to get in there from the back line. All right, all right, all right. I think we're actually going to do this. Let's see here. I want to play. I want to play the Eastern to make sure that this doesn't die right away. So. I want to kill that. So three, we've got three to play around with. Let's do this. And this. And pass the turn here. <clears throat> so assuming he's only able to really interact with our front line, from the support line we've got a one, two, three, four guaranteed damage, potentially five onto his HQ. Putting him in at Four or three, depending on how we get lucky with the Katyusha. Um, so, feeling feeling okay. Feeling pretty good. Um, we are just going to kill that and get rid of the guard. And attack his base, if he doesn't realize that's going to happen. Yep. Let's do that. Yeah, you get your 8-8 eight eight here. And let's just get rid of this, play this. Sure, we'll have our own big boy guard here. He's down to two. He's got to have an answer for this, this, and this. But I have an answer for two of the three of these. Because um, leaving any two of these alive in any combination kills them. Yep. All right. Another W for it, the Sandwich Brothers. Good to see here. All right. See you for... What are we on? Round number four. Take care. Welcome back, round four. Here we go. These are all pretty good. I'll drop the 52, keep the play sickle and the parade. Hopefully we try to, we do not. Do we still play this? I think we do, because if we draw into our, another Alpine, uh, a cheap Alpine unit, um, we want to start snowballing here, so. I'm okay dumping our one two here. We've got parade to get some card drop back in. All right, another looks like another uh tokens deck. Wonder what kind of style this one's gonna be. Beautiful. I'll take it. I think on our turn three, we're just going to parade here. There's also an argument to play the Petlakov. Let's 
Uh, maybe I just play the Petlikov here. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Next turn we can attack with the Petlikov and then Bloody Sickle the uh, resulting Light of Infantry. Once again, the way we win this game is just making sure the board is as clear of Light Infantry as possible. So killing them on the spot. They're like little cockroaches, you know. You leave them around, multiply, and they get out of hand really quickly. Let's see what the uh, our opponent L. McQuen, Merkin. I know I'm butchering that one. Has in store for us here. Yep. Yep, so we'll attack here. Bloody sickle. Move this up to the front line, pass the turn. This actually seems like a pretty decent uh, card against our opponent. Making sure they can only cast one. Uh... Oh, fair enough. Fair enough, opponent. We're going to parade because I'm going to kill the Kadusha. That's not a bad one to have two of. I think we just want to get this out. Um, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack face because we can just hammer this to death. Interesting card. I haven't seen this in quite some time. Got a nice little combo here. Petlikov stops deployment effects, so units are much less effective, and this makes orders much less effective. One, two punch here. Oof. That's scary. That is scary. think we want to get the Cuban Cossacks out here. Pass the turn. Some tells me these uh, these little boys right here are getting buffed <clears throat> and we might be losing a bunch of stuff here. The reason we got out the Cuban Cossacks last turn is uh, with zero op, this is a very. That hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. Yep. Four. Get a yak going there. Because that forces him to decide on what he wants to do with the Katyusha. Outright kill the 60th Cavalry or potentially take out the yak with the uh, Katyusha trigger. <clears throat> if, it could, if the yak survives, well, card draw. So we can start hopefully burying him in that. Because as it seems, well, board's stronger on our side, but that can change quite quickly. And he has the card advantage here. I'm hoping our first rifles do some work. Something tells me we're getting, uh, maybe seeing a buff here. All right, we got lucky. <clears throat> Let's 
taken out the Katyusha here. And we know our opponent has stars and stripes in this setup here. I'm exposing our HQ for the California to whack, but I think we're okay with that, hopefully. Now are we seeing the buff? Which means you can't attack that. So the one one, unless it uh, unless it gets buffed here, it won't be able to do much. Very nice, very nice. Just go ahead, eat that. Bring that to the front line. He's got to find a way of buffing the infantries if he wants to do any damage to the KV. But I, I definitely want to have control over the front line here. I'm scared of what will happen if these guys come to the front and get uh, get big, <clears throat> get buff. This is a pretty tight one. That's for sure. Uh, it's nice. Yep. So this becomes four. Three, four. Sure, let's do it like this. Pass the turn here. Uh oh. Do we have another ma mass buff? Something tells me that's a good one. Restock the hand here. Oh Lord, someone's getting huge. Or all of them are getting huge. Oh my Lord. Right, we gotta start killing things. Kill this. Kill this. Um, let's do this first. Oh my lord! Hoisted by my own petard. <laughs> 
Uh, kill this. Play this. Yeah, play this. Kill this. Pass the turn here. Our opponent has nine cards in hand. Twelve credits. I'm a little worried. We've only seen one. We've seen both of the industrial mites. We've seen one or two frontal assaults. I'm assuming there's a lot more scary things in store for us here. Good news is as long as this stays alive, um, he can only play one uh, order this turn. That's a good one. Yep. Yep. Let's take this out. Take this out. Take this out. Trying to kill as many of these things as possible before they grow into ridiculous threats. Yep. There's the alliance. This is where we're probably going to run into uh, the, our downfall here. We need to try something really good with this. Jesus, please. Not really what we wanted to see here. So we don't have to worry about alliances anymore. Hopefully that's a good thing. But I'm sure our opponent still has a few more buff cards. We can do it, yeah. It's also going to make this card insane. Ooh. No luck. My soul. <clears throat> oh my God. Possibly win this. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and. Oh, that sucks. Um. What do we need to draw here? 
but we need to draw Oh, that hurts. I, I really wanted that to stay alive so we can uh, trade into one more light infantry here. Fair enough. Yep. 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 Lots of one ones and lots of big boys in the front. Oh my god, is it growing even bigger? Do we just die here if he's got a... Yeah, let's see if he realizes kill this. Oh, he could have just killed us. This guy's playing with his food here. Alright. What could we possibly draw? That does nothing. Yeah. Gee, geez. Oh, my lord. Well, two and two. Well, let's uh, move on to the fifth and final round and uh, hopefully not get crushed by uh, tokens. See you there. All right. Fifth and final round. Here we go. Can we end on a positive note with our sandwich deck, a.k.a. Alpini Panini? We'll keep the Zukov. Pretty much get rid of everything else. Actually, let's keep the Petlikov as well. I'm assuming our turn one's either going to be Zukov or Bloody Sickle. Oh, I know. Our turn one's going to be either or. Okay. So probably facing a ramp deck. All right, so that's a four or five with Blitz when we deploy it. We'll have to keep a, keep a note on that. Pass the turn here. Next, I think we're just playing Petlikov. We want to keep this alive because deployment effects for the US are pretty strong. They're heavily dependent on it for the most part. Oh, don't tell me you have a way of destroying it right away. That's not going to be it. take that out and I actually think we spend two of our bloody sickles even though it's going to die next turn I don't want our uh, Petlikov taking damage here if we can help it That's fine. We will drop a big boy here. And pass the turn. Actually, now yeah, we can do the next turn. Opponent didn't do anything at seven credits. I'm a little confused. Any. Okay, let's see if we trigger a countermeasure here. We don't. There. No, that didn't trigger one either. Uh, does this? No. Nope. Attack for one. All right, so our opponent just pretty much skipped turn seven and eight. Okay. 
It's pretty juicy. Good thing is we have a way of uh, taking that out, which is pretty nice. Um, let's just play another one of these. Swing in for one here. Uh, fair enough. We don't really have a way of killing that, which is unfortunate. So we'll let him decide what he wants to kill with the B-17. I'm assuming it's going to be the Petlikov. It seems to have been giving him the most problems. Okay. Let's go ahead and take that out. We're going to start putting the pressure here. Oh yeah, this had blitz. That's okay. Oh boy. Why? Why feed the 30... I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh... But I guess I'll accept it. Let's go ahead and do this, do this, pass the turn here. Protection against deployment effects again. We're doing three damage a turn. Another seaborn? Wow, that's powerful. Uh I've done seven. Take this out. Let's put him in. Oh my lord, why would he? Oh my god. <laughs> why would he why would he why would he activate that countermeasure? Oh that sucks so bad. Um all right, well a win's a win. That's one way to commit Sudoku on yourself. With that being said, um that was Alpini Panini and did uh three and two, which is perfectly respectful for the deck. The grind to a hundred still continues even though, you know. It's now looking very, uh, very reasonable um, for the month of July. Take care, guys.